Hi, I'm Coy Jondro here with Red Carpet Report, and I'm on the set of Runaways Season 2 with the entire enormous ensemble cast and the producers to talk about everything that's to come on December 21st, and oh, I'm excited. All right, so I am here with the Wilders, and I actually <laughs> know these two lovely people. We do. And I am very excited to talk about this show in the context of this show. It makes the most sense <laughs> yes. here in this space. Oh my goodness. It's so a little creepy. I mean, we got like yeah. the eye of Agamotto, like kind of Spider-Man. Like I was, I mean, just saying it worked out. What yeah. Was going on? I didn't even notice this. Fully leaning in, man. Yes. I love it. I love this set. So I'm with the Wilders and you guys are season two. The, the, the first season, there was so much character development. We learned so much about the Wilders. It felt like they were family. And I love that about this show. Season two, the kids have run away. Yes. This, Spoiler free. What are the what are the Wilders feeling about that? This family has been split apart. So everything that you learned, all that love that we had, it is it is getting pulled in every direction. Yeah, and it's it's kind of tough because we, more than anything, we want our son back home, but we have very different uh, ideas of how to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. He said that you so know. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm just to try to be just cryptic enough. You know, that's not, very not cryptic, away. but also telling so much. <laughs> <laughs> so the end of the season, I'll be like, wait a second, yeah. I know what that contextless yeah. clue was. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's what press is for. So now I can be intrigued. <laughs> so talking to each of the Runaways so far, they had a moment in the season where they had like their arc peak. Like Carolina was saying, episode twelve without giving anything away, and mm -hmm. your kid was saying episode three without giving anything. Like there were moments. Is there a moment in the season that you feel there's a like a zeitgeist shift for you guys without giving anything away? We're we're recovering from episode three, yeah. the whole rest of the season. Oh wow, that's okay. how that big is episode huge. three is. Yes, I want people to watch this to know they have to binge. This <laughs> well, is basically binge, the binge they bait. They binge three before they go to sleep and then right. wake up and binge again. Okay, yes, perfect. Yes. Binge bait's the goal. Mm -hmm. So you guys get to work with this insane ensemble cast. What was it like? Like we talked so many times about how this was a family. Mm -hmm. What was it like coming back after time off between season one and two? Well, I think because, um, well, I'll, I'll speak for me. Last season when we wrapped, I didn't want to stop because I'm like, I know who Jeffrey is now. <laughs> like, I really figured it out. So I think it was just the anticipation of really just wanting to play now because I know this guy inside and out. And, and so the responses to everything just make so much more sense. And I think it just kind of felt like um, we, from the start, we just kind of, you know, just, just took off running, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we, we missed each other, so it was nice to be back together. But like Ryan said, we finally knew these characters. We were still developing them, figuring them out. We didn't really quite know the tone of it all. We hadn't seen it yet. I mean, I learned about Catherine just from watching season one, yeah. let alone being the one that was portraying her. But <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh. That goes that there. Goes puzzle, like, oh, puzzle. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so this season... We just we weren't as nervous. We weren't as we, we knew we knew what we we knew to also relax and let go and trust the writers. The writers are fantastic. So it wasn't like what's gonna happen? What are we gonna do? You know, I didn't even I didn't ask that question once. Yeah. And last season I wondered the whole time what's gonna happen and now I'm like, Am I in it? Am I still am I still alive? Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Keep it rolling. So you're a ride or die comic guy. To the point where a certain comic on stands right now has some of your beautiful work on it, uh, wow. perhaps also in wow. the universe of this very runaway show. Yeah. How does it feel, season two, as a comic fan, to be like, well, we made season one, it was loved. Mm -hmm. Also, by the way, I got a comic on shelves. Oh, uh, it's it's crazy. I mean, the whole the whole experience from being, you know, being being a, a, a nerd from way back, you know, just to be involved with this show is crazy to have the the castmates that i have is crazy to to be able to you know to to draw a cover for a comic book is crazy so i'm just you know i'm just really walking crazy. through i mean it's crazy it's, it's crazy. crazy yeah yeah it's 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 really a, a dream come true and and i think that um as a fan of the comics what we where we're going in season two with, with some of the some of the new faces and, mm -hmm. and some of the new, yeah, some of the new, the new places uh -huh. uh, is, yeah, it's, it's really, I think the, the fans of the, um, of the, the book prior to, to, you know, to watching the show are just going to be really pleased and really excited to see how these, these new things have, are uh, introduced and people who aren't familiar, they're just, they're just going to be going along for the ride too. And the companion question for you, how have the fans reacted between season one and two? Like people you've met, like Runaway, like comic fans, how's that been? I feel it's kind of like the myth of the Runaways. It's slowly moved through the internet into everyone's minds. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, slowly. And now I'm getting recognized as Catherine so much more. And, and it's just, 
it's it's cool that it's that it's sort of organically grown and through yeah. word of mouth. I and mean, because first the fans, of course, they watched it, but now there's just new people like I love that show. I love the Wilders. I love you guys. So we we've been going to events and things together, and the and the reception that we get everywhere we go is just we love you. We love you. So that feels good. And, yeah. and you know, if you can love these evil people, I mean, come on, we're doing something right. I mean, I told so. you guys both. This is the first show where I identified with both the villains and the parents. Yeah. So I was like, wait, what does that say? <laughs> and that's that's a testament to the writers and what you guys are doing. Exactly. So season two, I'm excited to see where that expands because now they've run away mm-hmm. and that's where season two goes. So is there anything you guys want to tell the audience before this starts, because it's bingeable, that you want to tease for people now that they've run away that you guys feel about the Wilders? Oh, man. Well, I, I would just say, OK, first of all, get your get your homework done, get your <laughs> housework done, because I think once you start, you're going to just want you want to finish this whole season because it, it is it really it picks up at a it, it from the start. Yeah. It's action from the start, and and everything's amped up and, and ramped up. So, um, but yeah, I think I think they'll. One of the, the cool things about our show is like we're we're people, we're real people, put in crazy situations and and are you know adjusting to them. So, it's just more of that more more consequences, more more stakes, more high stakes going yeah. into season two. Yeah, it's a, it's it's a bigger show. Yeah, it's much bigger in 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 size and scope and episodes. We're there's a lot more of this that they've, you know, they're really backing us. Marvel and Hulu, they just really support this show. So with all those resources and with the writing and all the new characters that are coming in, it's one of those that I'm I'm really excited for it to come out, too. I cannot wait to see it. I'm at 8 a.m. till 9 p.m., <laughs> all 13 episodes. Don't call me. Yeah. I'll be wrapping Runaway's presents. Runaway's day. Yes, and I'll be ready, you know, because we come out December 21st, and it all drops. So we're, we're excited to see it. I mean, I can't wait. Absolutely. I can't wait to spend Christmas with the Wilders. I appreciate it, (laughs) guys. Thank you so much. Of course. So I've been Koi Jandro. The cast is incredible. So many of them know and love comics. If you like this video, click like, subscribe for more, and hunt me down on Twitter, at Koi Jandro. And thank you so much. I cannot wait for Runaways. Appreciate it.